Imagine stepping into a world where trains float above the tracks at 600 kilometers per hour, entire cities run on artificial intelligence, and cash doesn't even exist anymore. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this isn't the future. This is China today. Many believe China is living almost 100 years ahead of the rest of the world. China has built the world's largest high-speed rail network, more than 45,000 kilometers, longer than the rest of the world combined. The Shanghai Maglev train reaches speeds of 600 kilometers per hour, making air travel almost unnecessary for short distances. Cities like Beijing and Guangzhou are rolling out driverless metro systems, while electric buses and taxis dominate the streets. Cities like Shenzhen and Shanghai feel more like sci-fi movie sets. In Shenzhen, you can pay for everything with just a scan of your face. No cash. No cards. The government is developing Xiong'an New Area, called the City of the Future, with underground transport, smart grids and fully AI-controlled traffic. China's engineering scale is unmatched. The Three Gorges Dam generates more electricity than most countries. The South-North Water Diversion Project moves rivers across the nation to fight drought. And through the Belt and Road Initiative, China is exporting futuristic ports, highways and railways to dozens of countries. China is leading the race in 5G and 6G artificial intelligence and quantum computing. In daily life, drones deliver food and robots serve in restaurants. And while other countries dream of going back to the moon, China is already planning a permanent lunar base and running its own space station, Tiangong. Daily life in Chinese megacities already feels futuristic. QR codes have replaced cash, autonomous cars are being tested widely and EVs dominate the market. China produces more electric vehicles than the rest of the world combined. While the rest of the world debates how to build the cities of tomorrow, China is already living in them today. If this is 2025, imagine where China will be in 2030. Maybe the real question is, are they already living in 2125?